Hello and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be drawing Chungyeon and Shinkyu from Genshin Impact, and this is a continuation of my little Genshin Impact portrait series. I've made um, six other drawings, so I've made eight all together, and you can find them all here on my YouTube channel if you guys want to see those. So um, yeah, I hope you guys will enjoy this video. I thought it'd be fun to make sort of like matching portraits for Chungyeon and Shinkyu because if you think of one character, you think of the other. <laughs> They're kind of a two-in-one package. So I thought it'd be fun to draw um, Chongyan with his ice cream and with the like little card things around him. And uh, Jinkyu with his book and his little swords around him. <laughs> I was originally going to draw Chongyan with his one hand doing that like little pose thing that he does when he uses his burst or whatever <laughs> but um i don't know it just it didn't look right and that wasn't quite logical because why would he be fighting and eating ice cream at the same time i don't know <laughs> so yeah i just I had more of a laid back chill pose there's not a lot going on but that that kind of fits chungyun anyway <laughs> i struggled a bit with chungyun's background because i'd originally planned on having like these ice crystals in the background um but i really wanted uh, the cards to play a big part of the background or foreground and i don't know i couldn't i couldn't really draw the ice crystals i couldn't make them look right and it was just a bit much so i ended up with these like swirls sort of from the background and even that was a bit much so i ended up just lowering the op opacity so it's like low-key little swirls in the background and um, otherwise it's just the cards and particles and I added little like artistic crystals, I guess. <laughs> so yeah, I'm actually very happy with the, with the outcome, I think. Um, Chongyan and Kaya are probably my favorite um, drawings so far in this little series. And yeah, I don't know if it's because I really like the ice aesthetic or what. But, I don't know, I really like Chungyun's whole design here. I feel like, I feel like I pulled off his face pretty well. That sounded kind of weird. Okay, I feel like I, I got his face pretty good. I don't know, I don't know how to phrase this to make it not sound weird. I really liked how the hair turned out, which is definitely good because I spent so much time redrawing the hair because it just, it just wasn't looking right. And, yeah, I'm really happy with the face and the hair and the eyes and... I'm, I really, I do really like the color scheme and the glowing effects, and yeah, I'm, I'm actually really happy with this drawing. <laughs> also, the ice cream reminds me so much of that, um, what's it called, like, sea, was it sea salt? I can't remember. That, the one ice cream from uh, Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> I was thinking about that the whole time I was drawing this. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't actually know all that much about Chungyun. I've never even played as him, actually. <laughs> I don't have, um... I don't have him built up, but I've never had him in my team. I uh, He was actually the second to last four star that I ever got. And I only got him because uh, there was some kind of event going on. And by doing the event, you got to pick one out of four different um, four star characters, I think. And I chose Chungyun because I didn't have him. I can't remember what event this was, but something tells me it was like during Xiao's banner, maybe? I don't know. It was some previous event. Um, I have gotten some Chengyun, um constellations since then, but at the time, he was the only 4-star that I didn't have except for Bennett. Um, so yeah, I never really used him much, and um, and now, if I want to use an ice character, I pretty much just go with Ayaka, Eula, or Kaya. <laughs> so yeah, I've never really used, used him much, but I've always been intrigued by Chengyun. I, I've always loved his design, and I I really liked his um, hangout event thing. I think it's really cool that we got to do that with Chungyun, because he's the character that I don't believe has even shown up in the story at all. <laughs> like, yeah, there's so many characters that are slept on, I feel like. <laughs> I think the next characters I'm going to draw, um, I think it's going to be Ball and Kokomi. Um, and though I actually haven't, I actually haven't drawn any female Genshin Impact characters in this series yet. 
I've drawn eight characters and all of them have been guys. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's about time that we get some females in here. And I think the next one is going to be Kokomi. Because not only is it her banner that's going on right now, but the moment I saw her design, I was like, oh my god. I want to personally thank the team that came up with this. Because <laughs> her design is so beautiful and it's like so aesthetic and i don't know I, I just love it so much and i'm really sad that i i didn't get to pull or i, I didn't pull kokomi because i really wanted her the last character i pulled for was ayaka so i've been saving up since then and i pulled the first day that kokomi came out and i got chi chi <laughs> so that's kind of sad i actually i really wanted kokomi i really loved her i don't know i don't know why people think that she's you know not good <laughs> like what is it because she's not a main dps i mean what is this we need more five star support characters do we really even have any i guess chi chi is support i think i think venti might be support or sub dps maybe zongo too anyway i i don't want nothing but main dps five stars we need more support five stars and kokomi was so OP. I don't know how people don't see it. And she can do a lot of damage too. So I don't know. Why are people sleeping on her? But yeah, now that um, my next five star character is guaranteed to be a limited one, I kind of hope that Albedo comes out soon. Or Al Albedo's rerun, because he is at the top of my want list right now. It's uh, Albedo and then it's Kokomi. I really want them so bad. <laughs> And I, I did want Ganyu, like, really bad for the longest time as well. But, I mean, I have Eula and Aika, so it's not really that much of a big deal anymore. <laughs> now, it's pretty much mainly Albedo, because he's been my favorite character ever since he came out. <laughs> so, yeah, how are you guys liking the update? I feel kind of bad for bashing on Genshin Impact when um, the first part of Inazuma came out, because my dumb ass thought that that was the entire Inazuma. I did not know that they were going to be coming out with two more areas. <laughs> so I uh, I kind of spoke about how it, was, how it was very underwhelming. And it's like you see or you like unlock the map and it's like this huge area. And then you find out that like 80% of it is just water. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was really disappointing. But I did not know that we were... I did not know that that was not all of Inazuma. <laughs> so now I feel kind of bad. <laughs> Uh, and that one area, the Kokomi area, I don't know what it's called. <laughs> it's so beautiful. I love it. Like, Inazuma really is such a pretty place. <laughs> so yeah, on to Shinkyu. Um, I don't really know what to say about it. I have him posing with the book. And you have the, like, water surrounding him. And his little, like, um, hydro swords that come out during his elemental burst and yeah i struggled even more with shinkyu than with chungyun because i i struggled with chungyun's hair for so long but oh my god it felt like nothing was going right with shinkyu like i struggled with his hair for the longest time and then throughout pretty much the entire drawing i just could not get his face right so i kept going back and tweaking it but no matter no matter what I did, it just it still didn't really look like Shinkyu, and I still think that something's off, but I can't, I just don't know what. But, uh, yeah, it was not easy. <laughs> but, um, I don't know, I ended up cha changing the mouth later on, because I started off with, um, with him smiling. But, I don't know if that was playing a part in why his face looked so off, because he doesn't really smile much, and when he does, it's not with teeth. So, I don't know if it just looked unnatural, or what, but I don't know. I hope it looked better by the end, at least. And then his eyes were kind of difficult as well, because they're so big, but they're also, they're also kind of droopy, if that makes any sense. So, yeah. And then that little, like, I don't know, crest thing that's on his chest. <sighs> it was it was awful drawing that the first time, and it was awful, awful drawing that now, because I have actually drawn Shinkyu once before. Oh, I hate drawing that thing. <laughs> oh, but, uh, yeah. And then I, I struggled a lot with his, like, poofy sleeves as well. Because I'm not very good at, um, like, ruffles, I guess. I struggled a lot with that. But, 
I think it came out fine. It looks it looks fine to me at least, but I don't really know all that much about ruffles, so. <laughs> so I should probably practice on that. But yeah, in the end, I was happy with the machine cue. I really liked how the background turned out. Because I used this kind of like texture brush thing and just made some water. So yeah, that was a lot of fun actually. <laughs> Now, Shin Kyu is a character that I've actually used a lot, and I use him regularly in my team. Because my team, more often than not, is Diluc, Venti, Shin Kyu, and Bennett. And um, Shin Kyu tends to be uh, switched out with either Zhongli or Ayaka every now and then, depending on who I need. So yeah, I've, I've built up Shin Kyu quite a bit. I really, he's really useful for my team at least. <laughs> And I really, I really like playing as him. I think, um, I think both Changyan and Shin Kyu are very underrated characters. <laughs> I've been sitting here talking to myself for probably a solid three minutes before I realized that I wasn't recording. <laughs> anyway, um, I guess I'll just talk about what I've been up to lately. Um, I record this part in every single video, but if I end up with too much content and I have to cut something out, this is always the part that I cut out. So. I'm not actually sure when is the last time I've spoken about what I've been up to, and there's probably been a million things that I've been up to since the last time I spoke about it that I just never mentioned and I can't remember now, but um, whatever. <laughs> As of right now, I am watching Tokyo Revengers and To Your Eternity. I still am not caught up um, on those because I haven't really been watching very much anime lately. Um, I have not been reading any manga, and that is because I've been reading books lately. Um, pretty much all the books I've read it has been either a Stephen King book or Harry Potter, because I'm currently on the fifth Harry Potter book, which is the biggest and the most intimidating one. And, I don't know, I just needed a break, so I started reading Throne of Glass. I don't know why I didn't decide to take a break with a standalone book instead of one that has literally eight books in the series. <laughs> so, yeah, I guess I'll read those before um, jumping back to Harry Potter. Because I originally just bought the first book just to see if I um, would like it. And then I liked it a little bit too much. So then I bought all eight books. I'm on the second one, um, Crown of Midnight. And yeah, it's my new obsession. So <laughs> that's also why I've been drawing a little bit less lately. <laughs> um, and game-wise, it's actually just been Genshin Impact, Obey Me, and Tears of Themis. Haven't been playing like game games if that makes any sense it's pretty much been like mobile games i mean genshin impact is a game game but i play it on my phone but yeah anyway <laughs> that's pretty much all i've been up to lately it's just been you know all that and school and friends really to my current art projects uh i don't know if i have any current art projects <laughs> hopefully i'm gonna start on my next um genshin impact portrait which will be kokomi so hopefully I'll do that soon. Um, I've been really itch itching to paint lately because I, I have started on a big painting. Started, started on two actually. And um, I don't know why, but I took a break from it. I think I got kind of sick of working on it. Um, and it just wasn't quite working out right. So I kind of lost my patience and I moved on to other, other things. But I want to get back into it. I really want to finish that painting. So I'm actually debating to paint today. We'll see how much time I get. <laughs> But yeah, Inktober is right around the corner, so I want to try to participate as much as possible. But, you know, that is difficult with school and stuff. And I know I have tests coming up, so I probably are Like always, I, I know I won't be able to participate every single day, but I want to at least try, get most of the days. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next Sunday.